Hello everyone, I'm going to go over what uh, lists and libraries are. So in your SharePoint environment or in your site, for example, our new demo site, uh, you would uh, organize your data uh, using lists and libraries. So we're going to create a list right now. So if you go to site contents and you go to add an app, uh, you have all these uh, options to choose from. So these apps are basically lists or libraries. So here we have um, Noteworthy or basically the most common ones, for example, document library, where you can use to uh, store your documents like uh, Word documents or Excel files. Then you have your custom uh, list, which uh, you would use to uh, make custom columns. And um, we have tasks. So tasks is also a list, but it's a uh, it's a template made to assign tasks to different people. So if you use a template list, then uh, your columns would uh, be already created for you or ones that you're more likely to use. And down here we have other uh, apps or lists of libraries that we can add. So uh, form library, wiki page library, picture library, uh, announcements, links, contacts. So we're going to add a, a, a contacts uh, list. This is uh, one of the lists that you're probably going to use a lot or often. And if you click on app details, it'll tell you the details of uh, what that specific app or, or list or library uh, does. So in uh, contacts, it says it's a list of people your team works with, like customers or partners. And you can even uh, have your contacts list can uh, synchronize with uh, Microsoft Outlook or other compatible programs. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this. And uh, what we want is a list of uh, candidates. Okay, we have we want a list of candidates. So we click create, and here's our list, candidates list. So if you do go to site contents, you'll see all of your lists and libraries here uh, in this uh, easy to see and accessible uh, page. So we're going to click on candidates, and this is our list that we just created. So we have our uh, columns right here. So last name, first name, company, business phone, home phone, uh, email address. So basically what a list uh, is, is uh, you can add items in this list or any type of list. And those items are uh, organized by uh, content type or columns. So you can think of a list as a basically a table in a database or a spreadsheet because it has rows and columns. So items are what you would input into your list. For example, if you go to click new item, then you can put in uh, let's last name is um, Smith, uh, first name is um, James, and then you have your email address, uh, company name, title, phone number, business phone number, all of these. So if you put in uh, all this information, then click save. Here is a item of uh, Smith, uh, first name James, and you have a phone number, email address, and uh, whatever else you want. So you can uh, modify the view of your columns by clicking on this uh, three dots. It'll t it's a basically like a settings bar, and you can modify the view, or you can even create views. So in modify view, you have all of the columns that are available to you because we did use a um, template list. Uh, these are all columns or content types already built into this list. So we have uh, address, uh, app created by, app modified by, city, content type. Uh, so let's say that I want to add job title. So I just click on whatever I want to add and uh, it'll be added into my list. Uh, and I can even number. Uh, based off, let's say I want first name to show up first, and I can do first name first, last name second, and you can see it organizes it. And it even renumbers other columns for you. For example, attachments is three now. If you wanna put uh, job title as uh, four, then uh, company here is four. So if you just put this four, then here company changed to five. And all you do is just click okay, and you can see first name, last name, job title, company, business phone, everything's been added, the web page has been added, the zip postal code has been added too. So you can add in um, uh, columns that, or content type that have already been um, uh, pre-filled in this uh, uh, template list. And if you want to add more columns, all you have to do is go to lists, 
right here click on list go to list settings and down here you can see we have a uh, create column so let's say I want to create a column well I have to first figure out what kind of column I want to create because you can't just go on and create any any column you want it has to be structured you have to think about it first so if I want to create let's say a uh, cost let's say I'm bringing in a candidate and I need to uh, evaluate the cost of the candidate then I'll have a cost column and I can choose a single line of text which is basically one line of text or you can choose multiple lines of text and you can have multiple lines of text that you can input you can have a choice a drop down choice for example here enter choice one or two so 400 or 300 or 200 depending on what type of uh, column you're creating you can create drop drop down uh, options or radio buttons or check boxes for multiple selections you have your number which is what we're looking for and let's say um, you want to add in here's a uh, $400 for this candidate but a better option would be to choose currency which is right below it so if you choose currency it'll show up in the type of currency that you want so $400 for this person uh, sorry I'm writing in the description center uh, choose a currency and then you can specify how much currency when you fill out the new item you can specify a maximum and minimum and it'll show up as a as a type of currency for example United States and you have all these other currencies to choose from then we have a date and time for a date and time field. Uh, you can specify uh, certain dates within when you're filling out the form or a new item, or you can have a default value of choosing the the current date when you're uh, creating a new item. Then you have a lookup. You can look up people, and uh, you can look up uh, different columns, or you can add columns. Um, you can uh, have a yes or no checkbox. Uh, you can look up people or groups. Uh, down here you can uh, basically require or enforce uh, and you can allow selection of people only only or uh, people and groups and then uh, we have a hyperlink or picture we have uh, calculations that you can make uh, for that specific column so here's our formula and we can insert uh, our column and uh, insert our formula to run that specific calculation then we have task outcome for task outcomes we have a uh, uh, extra, so grabbing external data, we have uh, managed uh, metadata, uh, so metadata is the details of a specific item or whatever you're working with. So for this we want uh, currency. And uh, everything's good, currency, we don't want to calculate value because we want them to input the currency for or the cost of the candidate. Uh, United States, so click OK. And uh, if you look here then uh, you can see that I have a cost currency uh, content type or column added and uh, if I go back to my uh, list my candidates list um, what I can do is click on new item and I can put in the cost of the person so four hundred dollars is the cost of this uh, candidate uh, sorry you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you how you can edit uh, list too so uh, a list item so if you click on uh, this particular last name Smith click on edit then you can go down here and put in how much this person is costing you and you can click save and you'll have $400 cost and if you want to move that move that around you can also move that around by uh, modifying the view so there are a lot of uh, different uh, things you can do within this list and um, one of the most important things is uh, setting a security permission so if you want um, let's say only your managers to be able to see this list you can create groups or add in individual permissions for just your managers or that particular person to be able to uh, view or access uh, this list let's go over uh, libraries now so if you go to site contents go to add app you can add in uh, different types of libraries, uh, document library, forum library, wiki page uh, library, and then if we have asset library, click on app details, it'll show you that you can um, share, browse, or manage uh, media assets like video files, audio files, or image, image files. So if I want to add that, I can click add and uh, put uh, videos, because let's say I find videos online, maybe I'm doing uh, marketing research or researching other products, then uh, all I do is go to my videos 
and I can drag and drop videos here if I like or I can add a new item and uh, I can choose a file that I have of a video and uh, just upload it like you would into let's say Gmail or Dropbox or another uh, service so that's libraries and uh, you can customize your libraries uh, click on library go to library settings and you can add in columns for your library and you have your content types and uh, pretty much the same thing as a list and you can modify it to how you want your library to be or how you want to structure a library and your items in your library so that's a uh, list and libraries uh, I hope you enjoyed that uh, tutorial and explanation. Uh, if you did, please don't forget to subscribe and like the video and uh, look for, forward to other uh, tutorials. Thank you for watching.